All right, guys, so we're going to uh, kind of settle this uh, dress debate once and for all, just for the sake of fun times. So uh, I love how we win the thing on uh, net neutrality and then we use it to debate something like this the same day. That's just the hilariousness of our society. But looking at this picture, this dress, there's obviously people that say, I see blue and black. And if you say you see blue and black, I mean, it's not. Okay, this image is obviously, if you take this and pick, that's gold. If you take this and pick, that's a whitish, lightish, bluish kind of thing. If you pick here, it's really close to white. Um, that is the actual color of the image. There is no debate about that. If we go to adjustments and levels, if we bring the levels down, the dress can become the blue and black dress that we know. Um, and stuff. This is all overexposed. We don't know how much or how different it is. But uh, if you bring this down, then it's obviously blue and, and black. Um, so you can do that. But however, even if this if this was a gold and white dress and you brought these levels down, it would look the same. Like you that doesn't that's not necessarily a telltale sign. The thing that makes this dress really hard for people to tell is this little area right here because this looks like black and white right here to me anyway and this black is obviously different than this black just like this white is different than this white so it makes it look like there's two point there's a reference for black next to something that isn't black uh, and that's part of the reason now if you come down here there's actually you can actually see better how if I pick this color, if I move around here, you can see right there, there's two pixels on two parts of the image that are supposedly black that are the exact same color, pretty much. So that tells me that these, because this is obviously, when you come up here, when you move up in the image, that's obviously kind of black and white, you would think. And it's the same color all the way down, and because of the Im the way the image has been treated these are the same color thus kind of leading me to conclude that the dress is indeed the blue and black dress that they think um, I demonstrated this with an image that I have uh, I took a whole bunch of different images to show some different examples uh, of things and as you can see in uh, well let's just open one of these images and let's uh, let's see Okay, so as you can see here, this is my original image. It's of a gold and white swatch and a black and blue swatch. And I actually used the colors of the actual dress people say this is. I actually went and picked them uh, with a color picker in Photoshop and used the exact same colors uh, based on the image of the real dress on the, on the web. Um, and if I bump this up, as you can see, if I take it up to this absurdly high level, this becomes now gold and this becomes kind of that off-white bluish. And if I hit open image and go ahead and open this up in Photoshop, if we take our color picker and pick this, I mean, obviously we're a little wider, but we're in the same range up here as the dress is. As you can see, the dress is a little bit darker. I bumped it up a little much. Um, if we pick over here, we're in the same color range as this part of the dress. Up here, also, it's obviously a little darker. So we're achieving a gold and off-blue look, but look how bright this whole image has to be in order to achieve that. I mean, that's just a ridiculous amount of gain to be applied to something, and the white balance is slightly off, which you can tell the white balance is off if you look over here and over here. But the reason this image fools our minds is because, like, in order for this image to achieve, in order for the dress to be those colors, it has to be this overexposed. And so if, so we think the rest of the image should look like, if we thought this dress was this, was not this color, the rest of this image portion should be like this, like basically just completely blown white to infinity, you know, but 
it's not. There's a lot of it that is still visible, and I think that's what's confusing people is they don't understand the – Is it, it's hard based on the rest of the image to get a reference point for the actual amount of brightness or darkness in the image. You know, and so I do believe this dress is blue and black, but I almost think it was photoshopped into this image because if you can, if you look at it, it's like, what is it hanging on? Why is it hanging up in this picture? Like, it's not on a person. It's not. There's no visible, real stand holding it up. It's in a weird position. Like, why is this here like this? And so. Uh, I mean, this part where it's fading across right here makes it seem, I mean, that would be hard, difficult to achieve in Photoshop and make it look nice. But essentially the reason that it's tricking us is it, the, it's tricking us because the, the background doesn't seem to be as overexposed as it needs to be to achieve these kind of colors, you know, these golden and, and whitish blue colors. So, uh, that's basically my look at this so anyway but yeah the dress is blue and black uh the reason it's tricky is because the background exposure seems like it should be a lot more overexposed than it is to achieve this color on the dress but uh you know i guess that's for the person who took the picture to explain to us is where they were and how the lighting is such a weird discrepancy between these two anyway all right thanks